Today, I'm sharing all the tips and tricks for styling my modern shag. The video is sponsored by Hair Biology, but you know I'm going to give you all the truth about how I'm dealing with my graying hair. Hello and welcome to the video. This is Dress For My Day and my name is Kay. If we haven't met before, I am so glad that you have come my way. I blog at dressformyday.com and I upload videos here at least once or twice a week. Really, my goal is to help women 50 and above to get dressed for our unique days. I believe that we are all influential women. Even as we get into our 50s and 60s and 70s and beyond, we still have a reason to show up. We definitely are beginning to realize at this age that getting older is not for the sissies. <laughs> it takes some hard work and a lot of adaptation as we age. But you know what, ladies, we absolutely can do it with grace and with beauty and with style. And so today we are going to talk hair. I don't know about you, but I really didn't even learn how to style my hair until I was in my 30s. I mean, I was a really late bloomer. <laughs> and as I began to learn to style my hair, I enjoyed, I guess, about 15 years of that. And then suddenly everything started changing again. Uh, my hair has gotten drier and of course it has started to turn gray. And about a year ago, right out a year ago, I decided to just let it go gray. And that brings its own set of challenges. Hair Biology is a new brand of shampoos and conditioners and serums. And they realize that as we get older, our hair does change. And so they have created product lines to address four needs that most of us fall into one of these camps. Either your hair may be thinning, it may be getting drier, it is probably getting a different color, <laughs> gray or silver or even white, and it also may just be getting frizzy or just kind of fly away. So they get that and they've created some products to address those changes. And so I love the opportunity that I've had to work with them because I have actually been using hair biology products for over a year, I think since they came out. So even though they just contacted me recently to share these products with you, I've been using them for a long time. And so let's get going though on how I style my modern shag. And I'll tell you about those products a little bit. I recently had my hair cut into a modern shag, and what that means is it's got lots of layering in it. In fact, my hairdresser just this past week cut even more layers into it, like with a razor edge. So it's about shoulder length that it's longest, but it's very layered. And she did that to kind of add some texture, but also to thin it down a little bit. I don't really have thinning here, but by Hair Biology does have a product line for you if you do. But my biggest challenge is that drying and also the color. Because with the color of my hair as I'm letting it grow out, I still have some kind of golden or yellow towards the bottom half of my hair. And that starts really looking kind of brassy and yellow. So I use Hair Biology's Silver and Glowing Collection. And it is specifically created for those of us who are allowing our hair to go silver or gray. And what it does is the shampoo and the conditioner both really take out that brassiness. They remove some of the residue in your hair that causes that yellowing or that brassiness or even a dullness. So it lifts that off and replaces it with moisture and just really helps to create beautiful silver shiny hair. I also really appreciate that this purple shampoo um, does that without stripping my hair of the moisture that I need. In fact, it puts some moisture back in, the conditioner does. So 
I've already washed my hair, of course, at this point, but I wanted you to see the products. My hairdresser was so impressed with the fact that I use a purple shampoo. She told me that so many women our age really are not using good products on their hair and don't think to use a purple shampoo. So when I told her that I was using Hair Biology's purple shampoo and conditioner, she was so impressed. She gave me an A+. And then though she told me that I do need to be careful about my hair drying out. And that's when I told her that I'm also using Hair Biology's Silver and Glowing Serum. So after I've combed my hair out, after I've washed it, dried it, combed it out, I simply apply about two little squirts of this serum to my hair. The Silver and Glowing Serum looks kind of creamy when it first comes out, but then it turns clear as you massage it into your hands and then into your hair. I put this all over my hair. Once again, it adds back in some of that moisture that my hair needs. It also just helps to keep it toned down, toned down that, that yellowing and that dulling and really keeps my hair shiny and really just makes it easy to work with too. I really notice the difference when I forget <laughs> to apply this serum. It, it just makes a huge difference in just the, the texture of my hair. It just feels so much healthier as I'm working with it. So after I've applied that serum to my hair, you don't need to rinse that out, of course. I just keep that in. I begin to dry my hair. Now, at this point, my hair is already dried a good little bit because I tend to keep my hair in the towel as I, I don't know, do little things, get ready, get dressed, put my makeup on, and then I take the hair down and dry it. So I section it off. I'm gonna dry it in three different sections. So I put it in a clip. This is no fancy clip. In fact, I think it's a little broken. <laughs> but I take the clip and I clip up a good portion of my hair, about two thirds of my hair. And I'm just working with the bottom portion of my hair and my bangs. I think the first thing I generally do is dry my bangs. I just dry them forward. I have a little calic there. In fact, it's already come back in today, but um, I do go ahead and dry those wispy little bangs forward. And then I just start drying with that round brush and I'm using a good hair dryer here. I think that is important. I'll list a link to my hair dryer below, but I just, you know, dry my hair all the way around using that round brush trying to kind of lift it, but I also, I'm really not putting a lot of curl in it. I'm not really trying to curl it under. I'm just trying to get it good and straight. I want my hair to be basically straight. And so I'm just drying it out with that hairbrush. As before I take the next layer down, though, I use my flat iron to go around that entire width of hair um, in you know small strands, not real big chunks, and just take the flat iron through it. I think one of the best tips I can give you here is to try to go kind of slow. I Sometimes I start going too fast and then I realize this isn't doing anything. So I try to really take my time uh, going around and straightening my hair. Now what this does, what a flat iron does is it not only does it straighten your hair, which is very modern looking, but it also adds some shine to your hair. And I find that using this serum, this silver and glowing serum really does help to protect my hair some from the heat products that I'm using. But also keep in mind that I only wash my hair maybe twice a week. So I generally go three to four days before I wash and dry and flat iron it again. So my hairdresser tells me that that really is not a bad amount of heat at all to apply to my hair. After I have done that first section, I'm gonna do the same thing with the second section of my hair. We're just gonna zip on through this, but once again, just using that round brush, my hair dryer on kind of a medium heat, uh, medium to high heat there, and drying my hair really well all the way through, going back around with the flat iron, straightening, 
as I go all the way around that second layer. And then you can see I just have one small little chunk <laughs> of hair at the very top of my head. And with this part of my hair, I do try to lift a little bit more with that round brush as I'm drying, not necessarily going side to side, but kind of drying it more towards the back, up and back. And once again, then I go around with the flat iron. I may go up under it again with the flat iron, may get all of it again, just kind of going around once again, wanting to, this is where I'm finishing things off, right? And so I want to make sure everything is just nice and sleek and straight and shiny. Now I actually use one more product from Hair Biology. And the reason I use this is because for years, for several years now, the way I have styled my hair is after using the hair dryer and the flat iron, I always apply an oil to my hair just to really keep it uh, sleek and shiny. And also it helps to helps my hair to manage the humidity. When I lived in Arizona, this was not as big of a problem, but when I moved back to Ohio and back to the East, and I was more in a humid climate, I really once again needed something to help with those flyaways. So I used the Argan Oil Taming Serum, and this oil just really helps to keep your hair soft and shiny. It is also a great way to tame those flyaway hairs. And you can apply this, actually you could apply it before you dry and flat iron, but I like to apply it after I flat iron. And then I can also apply it the next day or the next. So you can keep applying this as needed. And I like that about this product because sometimes two or three days later, if it is really humid or if it's really dry outside and I need to just kind of tame away those, tame those flyaways, this oil really helps that. And it also just makes my hair just really swingy and I think kind of youthful looking. <laughs> The hair biology products that I showed you today are only available at Target and online at target.com. So I've got a link below in my description box that will take you straight there. And I've also shared a little bit more about the products that I used there. So be sure to check that description box below for that link and for that information. I have to tell you, um, I love these products. I love the fact that this hair biology line is pro-aging and that they get it that our hair does change as we age and they've really equipped us with some great products that work for our hair uniquely and i love that now after i have done my hair like i said like this i usually go three to four days in fact today this is the second day i actually filmed that part of our tape yesterday and so this is second day and i pretty much got up this way I do sleep on a silk pillowcase and I think that really helps my hair a lot. But I also, like I said, can apply that oil. I'd usually just comb my hair. I never brush my hair. Um, I can't really think of anything else you might need to know, but if you have any questions about my hair, how I style it, how I take care of it, be sure to let me know that below. Thank you so much for joining me, ladies, and thank you to Hair Biology for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to check me out at the blog at dressformyday.com. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, but most importantly, if you got anything at all out of today's video, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up because that helps this video get out and about and to reach other women just like us. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel if you have not done that already, and then I wish you a very wonderful day. Mm -hmm.